I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about ear infections and ongoing fever in infants. Now, ear infections are a relatively common cause of fever in infants, but I want to stop and say which infants we're talking about. Because if your infant is less than three months of age and he or she has a fever, that would be defined as a rectal temperature greater than 38.0 Celsius or 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. That is a medical emergency. You want to have that child evaluated immediately. Chances are he or she does not have an ear infection, but he or she may have a very serious life-threatening infection of the blood, the kidneys, or even the spinal fluid. So don't blow that off. Don't assume that's an ear infection. Go get help right now. It's not okay. Now, and infants who are a little older, especially infants who are six, nine, ten months old, it's very common to get a fever with an ear infection. You're not always going to know that the ear is infected. Babies don't reliably pull at their ears. They don't always act super cranky. Sometimes the fever is all you get. That's why we have to look in the ears, because I don't know either until I look. That's what the otoscope is for. Uh, but if your infant, any infant under 12 months, has a fever, uh, it's probably time to get them checked out and figure out what's going on. It could be a cold, could be an ear infection, you don't know. Now let's talk about some fevers that worry us. We've already talked about fevers in babies who are younger than three months of age. Also, a fever over 104 degrees Fahrenheit bothers me, not because the fever is going to damage the infant, but because it may signify some really serious disease. That child should be seen within 24 hours. Likewise, the fever is over 105 degrees. Again, not going to hurt the child, but hey, what is going on? We need to find out. So get that baby seen immediately. No fever in a child should last greater than three days without being investigated. There are some fair reasons to have four or five days of fever, but you really want a doctor to get a look at that child, because when they have a virus, usually the fever is gone after three days. Now, if your baby has been treated for an ear infection, you got about another three days to wait for that fever to go away. But if he or she has started antibiotics and still has a fever more than three days duration, the antibiotics may not be working. It may be time for a change. So again, at that point, consult the baby's doctor, see what you can do. Talking about fever and ear infections in infants, I'm Dr. David Hill.